we know that whenever there is error we are having the error message so we can see like this yep we have this error message but you have seen that for a moment we are having this load more button for a moment and one thing is there if you don't want to expose that real error you can just simply have your own error so here we can instead of this i can have inside error like unable to fetch images like this if you don't want anyways so we were worrying about the flash of that load more so you can see there's a load more how we can tackle that situation we need a system which is giving us the information of loading or something is happening so once again in this we can use another state called is loading and i told you uh, if there is a boolean then it's a good idea to have a is loading is showing kind of uh, uh, name so initially it is false so because nothing is loading but then once this use effect is triggered i can say set is loading to true that means loading is started when everything is done i can set loading to false and also on the image part what's the use of this so just like we are returning the errors we can also return is loading from here and just like we did here we received the errors we can also receive is loading state okay so we have this is loading but how we are going to use this is loading so i can simply say whatever content we have in the page this is only going to show if is loading is false got the point let's see so if <laughs> it's very easy actually return is loading if it is true then i'm going to return a p tag with a loading dot 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 okay so if it is loading then i should like i need to return okay so i did the wrong thing so it's returning this otherwise return whole of the other thing okay let's try and you you have seen that that loading so once again we can do the same thing as we did here to make it at the center so paste it and instead of this i can simply say loading dot 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 and yep so it says loading and unable to fetch the image but if i correct the url like this then it say loading and this is now image is loaded so once again if i say load more so you have seen the flash of that loading okay so that's good but we can do more like we can have some font or some icon here instead of this just loading string okay so here we have an i tag and i can say class of fast fa circle notch and fa spin and text of five excel and let's try this you have seen that circle and i can give a text of yellow of let's say 600 or 400 now see <laughs> it is now cool so this is how we can handle the loading of this one more thing is there you can also do like i can write it here if is loading is true then i'm going to return this part and like this otherwise this is going to return so in that way i just moved the two different thing in a two return statements so one is this but this is only if is loading is true otherwise fallback is this one so once again refresh this page yep we have a loading and then we have the images okay let's extend this we don't want to expose this every time we want loading okay so component 
and loading.js new component i'm creating called loading and i just cut this from here i paste it here like here so we have this loading component separate loading component and now we can simply say loading and that should be actually yeah so i import it and you can see it's super super clean if is loading is true return loading we don't have to care about what loading means if we want we can take a look here in this component that's the power of refactoring and that's the power of clean code this is how you write the clean code so once again everything is working absolutely fine 